years that gold prices are at all-time highs. And this chart shows its rise to a new all here. All right, so that's our estimated time of arrival right now here within this particular uh, tornado warning and that squally weather up into a Hernando County. Uh, in fact, what we'll do is actually give you uh, a little bit more of a detailed look here, just highlighting that one particular part as it's moving off to the east-northeast. And there you see Croom Ridge Manor at about 501. You have Bushnell at about 511. And then uh, and that's on the northern side here of this track. But again, it's moving east-northeast. There's a slight movement to the northeast, too. And then Webster at uh, 515 here. I want to give you a little bit of an idea of what we're expecting here as far as time of arrival. And then we'll take this a little further on down just to give you some uh, other bearing here in regards to this uh, squall line in Pasco County working down into uh, Pinellas County as we stretch it off to the east-northeast. And uh, there you'll see, again, some other times of arrival. Uh, obviously coming into Clearwater now, but you have Land Lakes at 456, and then the Darby at uh, 457 here. So uh, right now, we do not have active warnings in Pinellas and Hillsborough County, uh, but this line is uh, quickly advancing in. It's gonna need to be monitored. We have a very strong wind field that's uh, accompanying this line. We are warm, we're very humid across the area. This is also supporting while we're on this particular radar image. Look at this axis right on here. Not severe weather, but these are all individual showers popping up that could become thunderstorms out in the Polk County. And they'll need to be monitored until they exit our area here. So uh, right down in here, that could be a potentially a supercell storm in the, in the process of developing. Uh, that's going to uh, merit some attention as it moves in toward uh, the coastline there of Sarasota County. And then in this particular part of the line, which is also showing some, uh, some kinking motion here, a little bit of this uh, quasi-linear look here. Uh, that's going to really um, deserve our attention here over the next 30 minutes to an hour, hour and a half as it's uh, moving into the Bay Area. But I just want to reiterate, we only have one tornado warning right now. That's Pasco up into our Hernando County. But you can clearly see that we have uh, high population centers here that are really going to be getting into the mix here. The commute's going to be going downhill. And if you're out into downtown Tampa, uh, you need to start thinking about now about the possibility of maybe uh, beating out the weather and heading home where it's just a little bit of light rain now starting to hit our, uh, our roadways. I'm going to send it over to my colleague, uh, meteorologist uh, Sherry Ray Hughes. Okay, Chris, uh, we just had several calls and concerns from out of uh, Her uh, Hernando County. Actually, Maria Odo, who is sitting between 41 and 52, uh, called, and uh, her concerns are for the wind. As you can see with the magenta, I'm on weather three right now, uh, as she, you can see by the magenta coloring there, just now to the, uh, the east of Spring Hill, in that Conrock area down there, Spring Lake as well. There's some intense wind field there and uh, uh, Maria said that from her window she couldn't see uh, her front gate because the winds were so strong and the rain was coming down so heavily uh, also that uh, I believe there's been some areas of hail now that is moving through rather quickly there so from Spring Hill uh, all the way back toward the west you're seeing a nice little bit of, of clearing for the time being but as we head down toward 98 some very intense rain coverage there of course it is the eastern half now of Pasco County, Hernando County, and Southern Sumter that are under the gun for uh, the tornado warning. There is a significant amount of shear in the atmosphere, lots of moisture there at the surface, extending all the way into the upper, mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, and that is why this area is so volatile. We're getting a good bit of lightning strikes as well, but as you can see, most of it on Weather 3 here continue to move very rapidly uh, towards the east there. So uh, within the next, I'd say, half hour or so, you're going to see a good clearing from out of Pasco County. I think you'll be looking pretty good. But down the pike, we have Pinellas County as well as Hillsborough County. And I'm showing you right now that from Hudson all the way down to Safety Harbor, there is a very strong line of storms that are rolling through at about 30 miles an hour. That's a pretty fast clip from what we're seeing. As this particular area rolls into some of that cooled air in the surrounding from, say, eastern portions of uh, Pinellas into Hillsborough County, I think we're going to see some very intense weather breaking out there, too. And all of this will continue as we zoom out to spread towards the east. You can see the very huge uh, field of rain that's still out in the Gulf of Mexico. The line, though, that we're seeing right now from Ocala through Spring Hill to Newport Ritchie and Safety Harbor, that is the area that has been uh, helping to produce and spawn some rotation, which could actually, uh, right now, we haven't had any confirmed uh, reports of tornadoes on the ground but when
when the rotation is there, that means that you have a column of air with uh, winds at differing uh, elevation, different speeds and direction all coming together to create that rotation, which will likely sometimes spawn that significant tornado. And with our particular weather dynamics now, any type of actual tornado that we have will be uh, far greater, I think, than just your basic EF0 or EF1 that we would typically have when we see this type of activity during the winter months. Gonna zoom in a little closer now just to show you here uh, as we move Dade City. We've got a nice line of showers that will move in your direction as well. Hernando County, you're clearing out pretty significantly as you look towards the east of Spring Hill and just to the south of Bushnell. That area, though, is the area for tornado warning. You see the magenta coloring right here? We looked at that because that's the heaviest amount of activity that's rolling through. A significant amount of lightning, cloud-to-ground lightning strikes out there. Uh, so Conrock and Camps and Croom, those areas down to Spring Lake, Ayers, uh, you're seeing some very heavy downpour, but starting to get a little break as it clears out. As we move this down uh, to 5E Junction, that's an area of Pasco County there, some very intense rain moving through your, your area as well, down towards Dupree Garden, where we're getting intense rainfall and some very gusty winds. All of this ahead of this uh, cold front, which is really helping to provide for some very squally weather. All of our counties under a tornado watch until about 9 p.m. tonight. And as we expand this, you see the great amount of activity that's still out in the Gulf of Mexico with all the lightning there. But the most intense storms, if you're in Pinellas County now, we're going we're gonna to watch this area. You're not under a tornado warning, but certainly uh, we will expect to possibly see some severe thunderstorms as this area is starting to fill in now. And we're getting a lot of uh, uh, downburst uh, from some of the developing storms that have moved off of the Gulf of Mexico. And all of this is moving back towards Hillsborough County. So as we clear out in the next, uh, say, 15 minutes from our tornado warnings for eastern Pasco, Hernando counties, and Sumter County, we expect to start seeing some more energized areas, Chris, for Pinellas, Hillsborough, and eventually Polk, and areas to the south. Okay, Sherry, sure, here I'll just want to reiterate. Uh, we do have the, uh, uh, let's see if we can uh, switch back over here. Uh, I want to let you know that we had the one active uh, tornado warning until uh, 515 for Pasco into uh, Hernando County. Uh, but uh, you can clearly see as this line's now moving in here, we're going to be on uh, standby uh, for the possibility of additional warnings with that squall line that's coming into uh, uh, Pinellas County. And we'll see about Hillsborough and Manatee County here in, uh, in time. But the active warnings are for Pasco, Hernando, Citrus County, we do have severe thunderstorm warnings still in effect into Sumter County. The one lone warning right now is in effect, and that is uh, as you work into uh, northern uh, Pasco into uh, 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 Hernando County. And we're getting, um, we're getting numerous reports of uh, traffic accidents now occurring around the region, and there's emergency equipment that's uh, being dispatched out across uh, Pinellas County here. So you can see that the driving conditions are really uh, going downhill. Uh, right now uh, within this uh, particular squall line that's, uh, that's coming in here. We've been on the air now for a better part of about an hour or so as this line's coming in. It has the capability to produce damaging wind gusts. We've had reports of quarter size hail as you work up into Hernando County. Multiple reports of uh, one inch diameter hailstones up into uh, uh, Hernando County. We've got the torrential rainfall that's causing traffic accidents now across the area. There's lightning and uh, we have, as said, a Along this line, we're going to be on top of the situation for a uh, quick developing tornado uh, potential here. We have a tornado watch that's in effect until uh, 9 o'clock, and uh, you'll see now that uh, this line now working out from the mouth of the bay and then heading uh, right up the uh, Pinellas County coast over 19 uh, around Lake Tarpon and then spreading up 19 into Pasco County, working up into central uh, 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 Hernando County, right around Brooksville right now into some uh, pretty heavy weather here. So some areas that are now starting to clear as you work to around uh, Mazarik Town and then back to around Arapica and Hudson, where it's just a little bit more of a, a general rainfall uh, at the moment here. So this is the squall line we've been talking about now for a couple of days that's uh, coming into the area. We're going to have a, a lot more coverage here on this particular squall line with reports from around the region. Our information center right now gathering uh, reports around the area and we're going to continue to stay on top of the situation for additional warnings here through the metro region. But in the meantime, uh, that's our coverage for now. 10 News at 5 begins right now.
From Tampa Bay's news leader, this is 10 News at 5. Dangerous weather is moving through the Bay Area. What you need to watch out for coming up next. Plus, armed and dangerous. Why one area county is helping Homeland Security track down two men. And her husband is accused of shooting and killing two police officers. Now, what she has to say to the officer's family. Good evening. I'm Reginald Roundtree. And I'm Heather Van Ness. Thanks for joining us. We're covering several big stories today, including a SWAT team search out of Bradenton. And we're also hearing from the wife of Hydra Lacey, the man police say killed two St. Pete police officers. But of course, we begin right now with more on that severe weather, including tornado watches and warnings in our area. Let's get straight to meteorologist Chris Suchan. Chris? Okay, let's, uh, Heather, let's take, just take a moment here to kind of recap what we have right now. We have, uh, we have airport weather warnings now issued for St. Petersburg Clearwater Airport, uh, Tampa International Airport right now has a, a warning issued for it for strong gusty winds with a squall line coming in. There is wind shear present in the atmosphere. This is a danger for aviation interest coming in. So we're going to be on top of that, making sure to, you know, the possibility of getting uh, airline delays from two of our big airports here into the, uh, the Tampa Bay uh, region here. Now this is our tornado warning that is active right now at the moment until 515. This is northern Pasco, Hernando County, uh, working into uh, Sumter County to around uh, Bushnell. And what we'll do is actually uh, I'll just take a moment here to put some radar coverage on here for you. Uh, this line has been roaring across with uh, the possibility of some strong wind gusts. Uh, but you see now that it's working east from Brooksville, uh, which is a, a bit of good news here. Uh, so now it's getting more into eastern Hernando County. And some of the areas of concern, you see there's just a little bit still of a bow signature there where you perhaps get some strong wind gusts. And you can also get uh, quick developing tornadoes really on either side here of that uh, particular uh, bow. And then it extends right across central Pasco County. Very, very heavy rainfall, windy conditions. I think at the very minimum, we're going to see wind gusts of 40 to 45 miles per hour, but then embedded within this line, the potential exists to get gusts up to around 60 miles per hour. And you see how this now works into uh, Pinellas County here. Uh, so in fact, as I'm speaking to you right now, Hillsborough County, Northwestern Manatee County, Southern Pinellas County, and Northwestern Sarasota County all have a severe thunderstorm warning now issued for the risk of damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. This uh, warning will go in effect until uh, 6 o'clock here. Let me pull this view out and uh, show you exactly what we have now with this new set of severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, this is right in here. This is the polygonal severe thunderstorm warning. At a for incredible rate, Central Pasco, Hernando, but the worst is over. However, here's the deal for our southern counties, Pinellas County, Hillsborough, Manatee, Sarasota, you're going to be getting it in the next hour or so. Polk County, you'll be seeing it in the next 45 minutes or so. So the tornado watch remains in effect, but at least at, point, at this point in time, the worst is certainly over for our northern counties. But there's a lot more going on, and that tornado watch remains in effect until 9 o'clock for most of the area. We'll take a closer look at that, and of course, any time during the next 90 minutes, if we get any sort of tornado warnings, any additional warnings, of course, we'll break in immediately and let you know it's always our goal to keep you and your family safe during these sort of events. Jameson? Right, those off. Those are all the warnings that we have posted. Uh, but as you can see, as I declutter the map, and I want to zoom back into this area. Uh, this has really been concerning. Of course, this is in a rural area, but boy, look at that. Brian Monahan's here with me in Severe Weather Center 9. And Brian, we've been tracking tornadoes in the past. And boy, if there's a candidate, I think this is it. Across <laughs> southeastern Marion County right now. Take your tornado precaution.